Hello, Mrs. Yan and Mrs. Filcher's classes. Happy snow day. I'm so happy that you can join us for music class today, even if it is snowing outside. So today for music class, friends, we are going to do two new songs from our book. We started this last week, if you watched our virtual lesson, but this is called Can You Hear It? And this was from our um, Museum of Art. So it has all these beautiful pictures in it. And last time we did, let me back up a little bit so you can see, we did our American in Paris. So there were all the bustling cars and people walking around. And we talked about how um, the, I think it was the French horns were kind of sounding like car horns beeping and it was uh, very busy. So there's our, first song that we did last time. And then let me find our second one. Oh, here it is. We did our spring and it talked about how we could hear the bird song in springtime. And there's our beautiful picture there. Okay. Yeah, it says, can you hear the song of the birds in springtime? All right, friends, so today, let me find our song here. Today, I do apologize if you are afraid of this animal. I'm not gonna lie, they kind of make me a little cautious too, but this is gonna be about bees. Ooh. So here is our painting here. So you can see all the flowers and then there's a little bee in the corner there. So the, the music that goes along with this is called Flight of the Bumblebee. Flight is the word for like it flying around. And it says, can you hear the busy bumblebee flying from flower to flower? The violins and the flute play the bee at the start of the piece, making many short, quick notes to show the bee's flying pattern. So we're gonna hear our violin and our flute kind of sounding like the bees. Let me put that down for a second. So I'm gonna share my screen here and we're gonna watch a little um, kind of animation or cartoon to hear our flight of the bumblebee. So let me do that. Let me make sure I share my sound. Okay, so here we go. Have a listen to Flight of the Bumblebee. See if you can hear those violins and that flute playing. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna stop sharing for a second. So that was our flight of the bumblebee. And our video kind of went along with our school theme, teamwork makes the dream work. When the one little bumblebee got stuck in the flower, the other bees came to help him out. So always remember that teamwork makes the dream work. 
All right, now in the description below, I'm going to have a short little video that kind of goes along with our B theme. This is another uh, B video for you. And my kindergartners did this a while back, but I thought you guys would have, my older grades would have fun with it too. This is going to show, it's actually called a listening map. A listening map is another way to show how a piece of music sounds like without actually looking at the notes. So this is showing our little bee kind of flying around and then in the music you'll hear these little bump bump every time you hear that the little bee is going to land on the, the flowers there to show that so what I want you to do is you'll have to stand up make sure you have space and when you see the bee landing on the flower I just want you to pretend like you are landing on the flower okay so again, that will be in the um, description below. But I do want to get on to our second song from our book here. And this is a little bit of a change of pace. This is, ooh. So this is all about knights. We're going back in time to when knights were jousting and um were very popular so this song is called dance of the knights and let me read our can you hear it over here it says can you hear the marching knights going off to a tournament so tournament is kind of like a competition or a game the violins play the procession of knights moving slowly and Steadily. So procession is kind of them like making their grand entrance. It's like they're ta-da. So they're moving slowly and steadily. So when we listen to this song, this is actually going to be um, a video. We're going to watch another video. This is actually going to be a video from a ballet because that's actually where the music comes from. Music plays a very important part in ballet and ballet is where you dance. So if you would like you can, uh, and like I said, this is kind of like less of, um, you know, twirling and lifting uh, dancers up in the air. And this is kind of more like a march. So if you would like, you can either just watch and listen, or if you want to try and pretend like you are a knight marching on in, you can do that and try and follow along. So this is actually, this video is going to come to us all the way from London, across the pond. And this is the Royal Opera House Ballet performing the dance of the night. So let me share my screen again. Okay, here we go. Okay, so pretty cool. 
they were um like the music said it was very slow and very steady a lot different than our bumblebee music that was it sounded like the bee was flying around this one was definitely more of a march all right friends so um for the remainder of class i'm going to set you on your own and in the description below, we do have our um, B movement video, but also there's going to be two other videos. This is to kind of prepare you for next week. Next week, I really want to um, play with our boom whackers. We haven't played with those in a, a while. Those were our um, kind of tube instruments with, that were all the different colors. And we're going to be playing them along to two songs that I'm sure you have heard before. It is going to be Mary Had a Little Lamb and the Itsy Bitsy Spider. So um, to prepare you for next week and just kind of uh, see what we're going to be doing, if you could just have a listen to that, you can move along to it if you want. Um, go, and you can, uh, yeah, you can move along to it or you could just listen. Okay. All right, friends. Well, that is it for me. I will hopefully, fingers crossed, I will hopefully see you in person next week because I know we were virtual last week too because of our ice day. So fingers crossed, I will see you all face-to-face -face next week. All right. Have a good snow day. Bye.